Hello, white people. I opened up my calendar on my cell phone and look, it says Juneteenth. Isn't that just charming? I have no idea what Juneteenth is supposed to mean, and guess what? I don't care. Don't care. Not even going to look it up. Not going to bother. It sounds stupid and low IQ. I find it really, really disturbing that white people treat black people like they're retarded children. Oh, look what the black man said. He said something that was pro-white. Good job, Tyrone. I'm so proud of you. Oh, it just chokes me up. Tyrone said something pro-white. This stupidity is coming from people who call themselves conservatives. Those are the folks that want to live the lie that we're all the same. We're just carbon copies, different skin colors, races, whatever, languages, histories. We're all replaceable. Mexicans can go to Japan and Japan can go to Mexico and everything will remain exactly how it is because everyone is exactly the same. I know that's a tired old argument, isn't it? Right now, I am in the Midwest, I am in Whitey Whitesville, and the problem with whites in Whitey Whitesville is they do not see the danger of foreigners yet, because there aren't that many foreigners out here. And if you talk to any of them about foreigners, they'll say, well, you know, I respect a man who works hard and, and doesn't ask for anything. They don't see the hatred, because there's not that many of them, and they have to conform, the non-whites have to conform and fit in. So when enough foreigners come out here, they're going to find out the hard way that these people are coming here to replace them, and they hate them. They want them dead, and they want all their stuff. And then the other day, I was watching a video by Vox Day, and he said, you know, Mexico is a socialist country, and, uh, and Mexicans will always vote socialist. Mexicans are not conservatives. They are socialists. They want free shit. And the only way that you can know how a people are is to look at their countries of origin. And gosh, even the Whitey Whitesvilles out here, they say, well, you know, it's not fair. It's the government. Bullshit. The government, the people make their government. The reason why their government in Mexico is a mess and other countries is a mess is because of the people there. That is, that represents them. America represents us. And right now it represents us because we did not draw lines in the sand. We didn't have any boundaries and we stopped saying, no, this is our country. These are our people. These jobs will be for our neighbors, our brother, our kith, and our kin. I don't know, Some somehow along the lines, you know, the nose people came in and they talked people into selling out to strangers. You know, a lot of America is owned by China. And with this next recession, more of our natural resources are going to be sold off to countries that hate us like China. So anyway, so I really like Whitey Whitesville. It's so nice and calm and peaceful. And, you know, even if the neighbors are obnoxious, you could just go over there and say, hey, you're being annoying. And they'll stop. Or if they do something dumb, they'll fix it. It's just, gosh, it's just like when I grew up almost. There's more people out here than when I grew up. But still, the people are just as friendly. I'm just loving it. All right, white people, that's the damage for today. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your thoughts below.